Hey, this is Turok5011, and today I'm going to be reviewing iTunes 8. Uh, this is the newest version of iTunes. If you don't know where to get it, you can download it off of apple.com. Um, if you still don't know where to get it, I can just give you the link to it. So, let's get started. As you can tell, that the interface is basically the same as iTunes 7, but... Um, but with the feature, new feature is Genius Sidebar. Gen if you don't know what Genius si Genius is, it's a um lets you create a playlist of songs from different artists, but they kind of make the same music or type of music. So if you still don't get it, um, just think about you listen to a, a person's song and you really like it and you want to hear some other songs that's just like it but not by the same artist this is what genius playlist or sidebar does um, as you can tell um, there is a new it's all black and um, 3D ish if you want to call it that um, this is this is the default look w once you download it. Uh, to change it, uh, you just go to View, and you can view as CoverFlow. I like CoverFlow a lot, and it just puts the songs in um, CoverFlow mode, which make lets you do this with them. That's a cool feature I like doing the most. Looks more has a lot more eye candy than um than the the grid. As you can see, we have the albums and the music can you just move the albums and um just play it. Uh, some other cool features are TV shows, which I don't have any right now, so I can't really show you it. But it's going to be the same thing as the cover flow and the grid on the, on the music. Um, you have the you have your movies, which is right here. Um, these are just some of my intros that I made. Uh, I don't even use them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah the main thing the main thing that I use it for is music so it does does that job perfectly uh it also gives you the top 20 most played recently played top favorite top rated this is um you do this yourselves uh, and the next is the iTunes Store, which got a sort of an upgrade, I think. Um, now it has the option f for you to buy apps for your iPhone or iPod Touch. Um, right here it says Diabetes Log, Cram, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader, Workbook, Wordbook, whatever it's called. All these, some of these are free, some of these cost money, but I think it's a great addition to the to the website. And here you get you see some of your feature stuff. That's some of it's free. Um, that's a good feature that iTunes put in. Some um, every day you have a free song, which is nice. Uh, you get your top songs over here, which is a good thing. Uh, that is about it. Um, I don't think there is any more to show you. Um, only bad thing is, um, uh, with with Genius, you have to create a um a iTunes account, but and you need a credit card to do that. But the way I did it, I followed some dude's video to create my account just to download album artwork because I didn't have a credit card and I didn't feel like using my mom's well she didn't want to let me use it so 
I just followed a video on YouTube. I can give you the link. Um, yeah, so I'll give you the link in the description. It shows you how to do that. And that is about it. Uh, don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. And thank you for watching.